Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on pie chart. It says that uh, an aptitude test was taken by 725 students of a college for placement activity. These are the grades like if a person scores 90 and above 71 to 90, 51 to 70 and so on. Uh, and it is given that the person who was supposed to represent the distribution of the scores, the person has to show uh, them in the pie chart, right? How many got A, B, C, D, E. Accidentally represented in terms of cumulative scores. Cumulative scores means, let us say, uh, like uh, in ascending order. So that means, like ascending order means E to A. Okay, suppose let us say E is 10 persons, D is 8 persons. So instead of saying 8, he represented 18, right? Suppose C is 15 persons. So instead of presenting 15, so 18 plus 15, 33. So like this, he represented uh, the data, right? He made a mistake in representing the data and he got the below pie chart with a total of 2000 students. So we know that there are 725 students, but the pie chart that he made using the incorrect representation of data had 2000 students. So the thing is quite simple and a couple of questions out of these are very simple that uh, can be answered very easily from this pie chart. Okay. So what we have is like going by this example, we will find the number of students. Okay. So these are five grades. So E is E will be correct because for E he will uh, represent the correct number. So let us first write the cumulative score based on this pie chart 6% is 120 this will be 210 and 19% is uh, 380 okay 28.25 so two times of this is 565 and this is 725 okay so we will find all the categories so e there will be 200 and uh, 120 students Right for D, this is this minus this, so 90 students. Okay, uh, C will be this minus this 170 students. This is 185, and this is 160. Okay, so quite easy to calculate the actual numbers. Okay, the first question is how many students scored 90 and above? 90 and above is A, so the answer is 160. You could have just calculated by finding this minus this. Okay, this is the total number of students from uh, uh, all the grades and this is up to grade B. Okay, so if you subtract it, you will get the answer 160. Uh, and similarly, one of the questions, the number of students who got grade D is what percent of the number of students who got grade E? So 90 by 120, that is 75%. Okay, now this could also have been answered by taking the difference and calculating it 4.5% and 6% so uh, 75% okay now uh, these two questions the students who scored 50 or below were rejected so 50 or below means uh, grade up to grade D okay so these are rejected okay 98 students who scored 51 to 59 were given a second attempt so now 51 to 59 will be 98 out of these people Okay, they were given a second attempt to qualify. What percent of the candidates qualified the exam in the first attempt? First attempt mein kitne qualify karenge? So 50 to 59 walo ko 98 students hai, right? So when you subtract 98 from this, you get 72, right? So these are qualified in first attempt itself. And above that will all obviously be qualified in first attempt. So this breakup grade C is 51 to 70. Right, it is saying 51 to 59, they were given second attempt. Right, so that means 60 plus will qualify in the first attempt. We know that these are already 60 plus and the remaining are 72. So, total you will get as uh, 345. If you add all these numbers, you get 185 plus 160 plus 72, that is 400. And 17 right so it is saying that what percentage of the candidates qualified in the first attempt so 417 by 72.5 okay 725 so uh, now if i have to find the percentage 50 percent will be 
ठीक है लेटर से थ्री सिक्सटी टू कितने बज गया फिफ्टी फाइव राइट सो समवेयर एट सेवन एट सिक्स सेवन एट फिफ्टी सिक्स अप्रॉक्सीमेटली एट परसेंट राइट तो रफली फिफ्टी एट परसेंट शुड बी योर आंसर ओके सो रफली अराउंड फिफ्टी एट परसेंट नॉट एग्जैक्टली Roughly 58% will be your answer. So the answer option is 57.5 because 8% is 8% of 7 is 55, right? So uh, 7 is 50, 700 is 56. So less than that. So less than 8%, right? So some somewhere less than 58%. Okay, 57.5. If a pie chart was made showing the distribution of students getting different grades. What would be the approximate central angle representing the students that got grade B? So how many students got grade B? 185, right? So the angle will be 185 out of 725 because total students are 725 and 360 degree. Okay. Now uh, this is approximately two times. I mean rough, rough. If we do this is two times, right? Two point small, small number. So we can say that approximately 92. Right, this will be two point some small number. So can you say that a 92 degree approximately? Yes, the answer will be because see 95 is not possible. This has to be less than 95, and 87 looks a lower number. Right, this is approximately two. So we will take 92 degree. You can do the actual calculations. You will get at 92 point something, which will be very close to this number. So uh, this is how we will solve this uh, question. So understanding what is cumulative chart. is important to solve this question